What is up guys? How are you doing? I am actually in my hometown, Lake Isabella. You probably have never heard of this place. It's a small town. I mean, places close at like five or six uh, in, the, in the afternoon here and it's, it's crazy. So um, today we are specifically going up to little hidden gym called R Ranch or Johnsondale. R Ranch is a timeshare in Johnsondale. Um, I think that's the correct way to say it. And we're gonna go up there get some footage, gonna shoot a lake in the snow, and uh, and see what else we can come up with. So, thank you guys for coming with me. I appreciate it, I appreciate you, each one of you, and um, hopefully we can you know, come up with something really cool today. I know we will, so let's get going. slope of the Sierra Nevada. Well, we finished shooting at our ranch and we're just kind of like excavating these mountains. I've never been this deep in this forest, but uh, Dave has, thankfully. Hi. <laughs> Hi, this is Dave. This is Dave. <laughs> Guess where I'm at? You're probably gonna say, duh, it's the snow, obviously. A little more so, I'm about, I think 50 miles from my hometown. It doesn't snow like this, where that's technically at, so that's why I've driven up in the mountains to this little resort called R Ranch. Real quick, big, big thanks to Kelly, who uh, really hooked this up for me. He's an awesome guy, he's very receptive, and he, uh, he gave me the permission to come up here and shoot. So I'm gonna be getting some content for him in exchange just for some uh, YouTube stuff for us. And so I thought I'd take you guys with me. And whew, I'm out of breath, jeez. Where I live in Los Angeles, there's no snow because all of LA is in the subtropical climate. I had to come up here, I had to do a little bit of traveling. But dude, that's a cool thing about California. One minute you're in this very nice, sunny, subtropical place. Next thing you know, you can come up to the snow or head to the desert. So there's so much you can do here. This place in particular, they have like timeshares and cabins and there's like this really cool lake that I'm walking to right now. So if any of you are inspired by Peter McKinnon or if you watch any of his stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you probably are familiar with him, if you're not, totally check him out. That's where I get a lot of my inspiration from and that's where a lot of other people get their inspirations from. But he had this video called The Bucket Shots and it's basically a shot that he's really been trying to get. Oh my gosh, this is Thick, thick snow. So he travels out to this lake and gets the shot that he's always wanted. And it's not just the shot of the lake, he's shot that plenty of times before. It is of the lake in the snow. That really stroked an interest of mine to travel here, our ranch, which is a place that many people might not know about. And uh, and shoot out here, because there's a lake right behind you. Let me turn this around so you can see. There's a lake, beautiful as can be. And um, yeah, so that's the whole plan. Come out here and shoot this lake. I looked it up before I came and I saw that there wasn't really many snow cover photos. I was like, you know what, maybe I'll contact them, which I did and here we are. It is pretty cold out here. I am, I do feel comfortable. I'm not like freezing cold. I'm gonna get cold soon. But um, the only thing that I wasn't fully prepared for were my shoes. And if you look here, yeah, these are skate high vans high top shoes. These are skateboarder shoes, but they're like water resistant and they're high tops. So I figured, hey, I mean, it's the best thing I got and they seem to be holding up so far. It is coming down like no other. I mean, gosh, I haven't been in the snow in forever. I don't know if I can say I've ever been in this much snow. I love it, don't get me wrong, I love it. 
I don't know if you guys get the full effect. I imagine you do. Unbelievable, it's just coming down. Whew. I mean, where I walked through back here, maybe three feet of snow. Hang some all the ducks over here. <laughs> so while, while I'm out there filming, Dave is in here getting photos of his own. I think he's got the best shots. <laughs> if anyone's going to come out here a winner, it's totally you. Hey, action shot. Got a foot yeah. moving. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to stay here. I was actually supposed to stay here with Cindy this time around, but she's not feeling well, she's sick. So she stayed at home while I just came out here and just kind of took care of this, this shoot. Cause we've really been wanting to shoot together. But um, hey, we'll have to come back another time. I'm game for that. Ugh. This almost looked like an arrow shaft. We have Dave behind me, awesome Dave. Adventure Dave, I call him Adventure Dave, but uh, I guess the locals call him Safari Dave. <laughs> He's chilling behind me. He's slowly creeping around these corners, following me, being supportive, awesome friend. If there's one thing we should all live by, it's being a good friend because you make good friends and you get good friends in return. So be honest, be kind, and people will come through for you. People will help you. Um, just make sure you return the favor and help them back. That's the biggest thing. So, yeah, little, little piece of advice. It's amazing how one second it's like blizzard, like snowstorm. Snow is just coming down like crazy. And the next, gosh, and the next thing you know, it's like dead still. It's beautiful, the sun's creeping out. This is quite serene. This place is beautiful. If anyone is visiting Southern California, this is a hidden gem, for sure. This is a place you want to check out. So thank you guys for coming with me on this awesome adventure. Thank you to Dave, thank you to, to Kyle, for my parents, for the family, for everyone who's helped me. Um, Kelly, Kelly, don't forget Kelly. Thank you to everyone who's helped me make this video come true. Yeah, it was just an awesome, awesome day. So I can't be thankful enough to have you guys watch this. So like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Let's get this